this plant as if it's a baby. I just watered it. I set my alarm to water it every Saturday because when I bought it from the guy, he told me once a week it's okay to water it. So I water it every Saturday. I just water it and then I just switch bowls so that it drains in this one and then I switch to that one. I just keep switching bowls until it's done draining. Usually it drains for the whole of Saturday. So by tomorrow I'll just take out the bowl and then the leaves were dusty so I just used baby wipes to clean them and then I trimmed it. Hey, Jesus Christ, see process on top of plant to fix. So I trimmed it. Some tips were getting brown. I don't know why they're getting brown. Um, I think I went online some weeks ago when it happened the first time and then he said something about not getting enough water i don't know what that means i give it i think i give it enough water on saturdays and once a week is really okay so even though it's an indoor plant i just still feel like it needs to get some sun so that's why i just moved it close to my window so i'm going to leave it here throughout this morning or maybe even throughout the day i guess throughout the day it's better so that it just gets you know as much sun as it can get in so so yesterday I walked so much. Um, literally, my capital was in my house from morning till night. Like the guy didn't even expect it. He didn't think he was going to be here for that long. But we did a lot of work. So I like we did the net door of the girls' room. I guess the first time he did it, he did it in a hurry. He didn't do it well. So yesterday, practically, he pulled the door down from top to bottom, and like we did everything. So the door is looking so good now. Even though we don't really have an issue with rats, we don't have rats any longer. But I just wanted the door to look good, you know. So you can you guys imagine that when I was done with that door, Ella came to me and said, "Mommy, thank you for the door." Like I thought I didn't hear how well the carpenter was in my kitchen, then fixing my cabinet. So I said, "What did you say?" She said, "Thank you for the door," and I'm like. How can a little girl of three years even be thanking me for fixing the door to her room? Like, it was just so crazy. And when the carpenter was fixing it, I had her in mind. So I asked him to put, like, he put a, a handle, you know, where adults can reach, you know, where Grace, Monica can reach. But then I asked him to put a small one down so that Ella will be able to reach it as well. So I don't know. It was just, oh my God, that girl is like the sweetest girl. She's the sweetest child. She, when she comes to my room, she's always like, hello, mommy. Like, that's the first thing that comes up from her mouth. She'll be like, hello mommy so that's the reason why victoria when victoria enters my room now victoria is always like hello victoria just learns from her it's just so amazing and because ella is always saying please victoria now knows how to say please like even when it's not necessary you just hear victoria say peace so ella is always like mommy please can i take the tablet mommy please can i take this cake mommy please she's just so sweet she's so i don't, I don't even know how to explain her that girl is just amazing honestly Girls are eating. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. What is it? You can't use a fork, that's why I didn't give you a fork. Over here. Don't rub it on your face like body cream now. What are you putting in your mouth? That. Put that one in your mouth. Princess Lucy, yeah, sit down. Let me put the pillow for you. Sit down. Sit your bum bum down. Sit down. Girl. This is why you say yes. Um, I did a review of this hair. I filmed the video for the brand yesterday. So when I wore the hair, it just did not seem right. Like it's a 14 inches hair and it just feels so odd. I don't know why I went for 14 inches and I feel like if it was shorter it would have been fuller, which I really want. But I still feel like I won't be able to wear this hair like this and I'm not about to just keep a week in my drawer doing nothing. I asked for a bulk wig because the weather is really hot. I just want to have something to just throw on on days when I'm probably not going to be in an air conditioned, you know, car and all that. So that's really why I even asked for a bulk wig and then this came and then it was 14 inches. I don't know why I didn't think to check what 14 inches actually looks like. So I'm just going to cut it into a bob. I I downloaded a couple of videos that I've actually watched. So let's see how to do this. So this is this is the one.
I'm finally done cutting the hair and you guys I was scared when I got to the back because the back was very thick and I was looking as if my scissors couldn't handle it but once I haven't seen the back I just used my flat iron to straighten me and then I give it like a little bump at the end I can't really tell I feel like it might not be the straightest but then it's not something that I can trim except I go to like a salon if it's not straight I don't know what the back is like I can't even see the back maybe when I'm done I'll put my camera behind just to catch it but looking at it like this it looks good can't see the back but this is how it's like it looks better like this man the former length was so annoying it was like pick a strong hole are you long are you short what exactly are you doing so yeah i like how it looks now yes i just come to the end on you i say you and me are saying this your body does not take other this me aside okay this the end is the song to eat let us say this is that a comment this end on to you and this time to the elegant, to the elegant visionaire, I tell you here to the occult to it. Somebody does not accept it, and somebody does take this reaction again. Somebody does accept it, I tell you an old to you. And somebody does just take it, and you just tell you a you. I know how this, you know how you a old, I'll tell you a all you old. If somebody is your a old, I call you a Baby, what kind of read are you reading that saliva wants to drop from your mouth? Oh, yeah, I'm still. You will lick your saliva now. Tell you that me, I say, Miss Essica, I tell you, I know this is the Sika again. Look at I say my sister is a camera, a low bottle, a Lagos, a a Lagos, 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 a nice for me to want to be in and for me to want to cook in because i'm in this kitchen a lot of times so it doesn't take too much but the fact that i have like an upper layer i can also use that if i want to put like more flowers or still put some more spices but so far and then i think yeah that's a good thing because i didn't even realize that two spices can actually fit in so yeah i can put two of these in so you see this effort list. I mean, even though Monica is going to pick them, but this is what I'm cooking today. It's in my store. So this is what I'm cooking today. And apart from this, I'm supposed to cook vegetable soup. So I'm done cooking. I have, I think I got about three plates of effort and three plates of vegetable soup. So I can have four plates of vegetable soup. So this one now has no meat in it. So I just put this no meat so that I will boil some beef later when I put it in there so that we don't mistakenly bring it out of the freezer. So I have a four, a four, vegetable soup, vegetable soup, vegetable soup, and another a four. The girls are reading this Bible story thing from this app that I have for them. And then I'm watching Adizi Space. You guys should please check her channel out. I actually love her channel. I watch her vlogs and she has two beautiful girls. from the lemons to enter your bottles. It will prevent the bottles from spraying properly. So make sure you save it, guys. I need a spray bottle like this. I won't be able to find a nice spray bottle. So the lemon so I can get all the liquid out of it. So I'm pouring the vinegar using a funnel. Let's go! 
Eh, 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 go. eh, 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 Go, come on, come on, Asa. Ready, get set, go. Hey, 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, hey. And Asa push your hand now. That's if you can never get to the end. Yeah, this Victoria, this Victoria, eh? She won't get to the end, she'll not start running halfway. And I don't push her now, careful. Uh-uh. Baby, ready, get set, go, Jarin. Mm. Red, get Ella, yeah, go there, go there and do get ready. Ella, oh, yeah, go. Oh, okay. Ready, get set, go. Move on. Winner! Winner! Asa is the winner! Yay! Dance of victory, eh? Get, 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 you can say hi guys. Hi. Say hello. Yeah. Welcome to my channel. Say hey, welcome to my channel. Hey. Say so welcome to my channel. Say <laughs> so welcome to my channel. Say welcome to my channel. But you have to lift it up, okay? See? Mm -hmm. Yes, you see? That's a good angle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have to lift it up now so that they can see. Yeah, we're not bad. Oh, like that, yes. <coughs> hey, yeah. How do you sneeze? Uh, How do you sneeze in front of me? Oh my God, Asa. Asa, carry it up like this. <coughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, say hi. Hi. Say hi. Uh, what? You, you have to lift it up. You have to lift it up like this, babe. Yeah. On top of your camera. Oh, you say hi, guys. So I was showing my husband this picture yesterday. Um, I was watching this. There's this YouTuber that I follow, Amanda Ensing. I hope I'm pronouncing her name well. Um, but I don't watch all her videos, but I'll just pick certain ones because she does mostly makeup videos. And the truth is, I don't really watch makeup videos that much any longer. So I was watching one of her videos where she said she got, um, I think she got like three piercings or so. So I watched the video and she talked about something that they call the curated ear. So it's like a hashtag on Instagram. So basically if you click on it, you just see a lot of these ear piercings, like people that have helix, tragus, double this, double that, ear lobe, this one. Like we, we see people that have this in here, up here, three or four down here up here like it there are so many and i love them honestly i actually love them my husband i'm like do you like it and he said oh, he doesn't like it why, why am i asking i said i want to get piercings on my ear and he's like why do you need that uh, you want to pierce your nose hey uh, now you want to go and do your ear and then i'm um, like oh like it, it it brought on not an argument but me just trying to prove a point because it was like uh, is it right i'm like okay so what makes you feel that the one ear lobe you met like you came in and into the world and you met people piercing their ears and who said it who said this is this this is what we're supposed to do and i told him i was like do you know that some how about the churches that don't even pierce their ears at all? like you even feel it's okay to have one piercing but how about the churches that will tell you that you shouldn't even have anyone at all like so everybody just live your freaking life man when we get to judgment day we face judgment okay it is just 
bad wrong orientation and that's how a lot of us grew up and a lot of people a lot of nigerians africans that's what that's what we were that's what we're taught that's what we raised to think so i feel like when you get to a certain level in adulthood you have to free your mind from that mental slavery you know you just have to find yourself and it's crazy that a lot of people have not found themselves they don't even know what they believe they don't know they don't even try to question some of the things that they met it's like i met it and that's how it's supposed to be nobody tries to think oh was it like this is this how it's supposed to be why is it like this can't it be another way nobody wants to even do that so this morning we're talking we're talking and i was telling him that he has so many gray hairs now because before we could count the number of gray hairs he had but now like his whole beard there are so many of them we can't even count so i was telling him i was like in two years you're going to have gray beards like your whole bed is going to be gray so he said he's going to die i'm like why would you die if i don't want you to die because i, I like men that have gray hair like hair mustache beard so when he said green i was like good so and i said why would you die it he said because he doesn't he won't want it that he would die so i said oh so now you agree that you can actually do what you want with your own bed so that's just to tell you that my ear i will choose what i want to do my nose I will choose what my whole body I will choose because you clearly stated that you would dye your beard hair if you want to and it didn't really matter if I like it or not. Like I know that if I tell him I don't like it, he'll probably consider it. But I feel like at the end of the day I can't rule your body. I would learn to live with it, learn to accept it. It doesn't change who you are. I told myself you see the way you were insistent on the fact that you're not you're going to dye your beard. And he, even when I said, how about if I don't want you to die, because I don't want, I actually don't want you to die. And he kept on saying he's going to die anyway. I'm like, that's the same way my ear belongs to me and my nose belongs to me. So, I mean, yeah. I'll eat rice, banana, and beef stew. Just look at them. <laughs> Just look at them. Just look at them. Look at this one. <laughs> what does she know she's watching? Hmm? No, no. no baby. Oh. 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 How are you, my lady? How are you? I'm fine. Oh, my baby. I'm so this is Sunday. We didn't go to church because the girls have a photo shoot today with a um a baby dress brand. Um her brand is called Liamana Kids. I'll put it on the screen and I'll still put it on the screen when we are doing the show so I'll show you guys everything. So she's coming here with um, a photographer and they set up here and everything. So the girls made their hair yesterday. So pretty. Right? They've made like regular weaving, you know, but when they make their hair newly, I just love it so much. Look at this is so loving, man. Every employee must get their check. Like so, so, so beautiful. I'll show you guys the hair anyway. When they've had their back and when they've taken off their bonnets. o'clock it's past 12 5 past 12 and i'm done cooking 
Um, I'm done with everything, Sha. So I'm just waiting for them to get here, and they are still going to set up. So I feel like that's going to take maybe almost an hour or so. I make sure that the girls sleep because I don't want them to be cranky. <laughs> Baby girl, what's her name? Inaya. Inaya. Inaya, how are you? Not how are you? How are you? So this is Inaya's mom. Hi. Owner of the brand Liamana Kids. I'm going to leave it on the screen for you guys to see. <laughs> Nice. I just want you both to be comfortable. So now the guest room is ready. Auntie, don't go lost. Where are you going? To? Where are you going? She's exploring. Don't worry, they'll still wake up. So you have food to play with. So it's like the food. Mama, it's, it's so cute, right? True. Do you think she she can, we can still be hot? She's oh, awake. She's, she's awake, awake. Yeah. yeah. But I think um, Grace. That's she's Grace. She's Grace. Then Ella. Ella. I think Ella. Is Grace. Is Grace. I'm sorry, I'm here to end the vlog for you, no vase. 
so we had the photo shoot yesterday it was good um that was the owner of the brand i think i probably showed you guys um, when she came in that was the owner of the brand so when she came i had to ask her what the meaning behind the brand name was because i like the name liamana sounds very nice liamana kids liamana i like how it sounds so she said amana means trust that's an arabic word so it's like children are like trust from god and i really like like the whole idea behind the brand name and she was such a sweet person like when she met me downstairs she hugged me she, she was acting like we had met before but i guess it's just the fact that everybody watches me so it's like when you see me you probably feel like you already know me which you kind of already know me because there's really not well there's a lot more a lot more but not like that would make you, you feel like you don't know me so i guess that's the whole reason why she was acting that way but anyway um the shoot was good ella was so annoying i let them have their siesta before she came because i wanted them to be active i didn't want them to be in I don't know but i now feel like that was a bad idea because when ella wakes up it takes her a long while before she finishes booting and gets to her regular so vicky just got up and vicky was fine she was already running about with um, her daughter inaya and ella was just like and at the end of the day when ella saw the clothes on the rack she didn't want to wear the blue one she wanted the pink one ella is so picky she doesn't like I even said on my Instagram one time, I said Ella likes leg doesn't like leggings. Ella likes skirts, dresses that have two 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 that's just what she likes. And if she doesn't want something, there's nothing you would do, nothing you would say, no way you would force her to collect that thing. Like she's a child, but it's like there's nothing that you would do that would convince Ella to take something that she doesn't like. So when she came out, we had to wear the blue dress for her and she was like, No. She was pointing to the pink one. She said she wanted the pink one by all means. So, so she just insisted on wearing the pink one. So we had to take the blue one off even though we hadn't even taken any pictures in it. And to be honest, she wore three dresses. They were supposed to make two for Ella, two for Grace, two for Victoria. But there was a mistake and then Ella had three dresses. Grace had one and Vicky had two. And it's so annoying that Ella that just decided not to smile was one that had three dresses. So Ella had a pink dress, a green dress and a blue dress. And i don't think she smiled in any in the green and the blue one i don't think there's a picture of her smiling that the photographer got i think he only got a picture of her really really smiling in the pink one like she was all smiles when we changed from the blue one to the pink one ella's teeth were like she smiled so hard that her eyes were closing we were like open your eyes open your eyes and we were done we ate we ate the fried rice i made it was so good i um the chicken i break baked in the oven it was so so good because i used suya spice i bought this suya spice from east foods and it was so good so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um there'll probably be another vlog this week i'm not too sure so the girls are going to their grandma's house the, tomorrow Come out, please. Ella said, can I please come out, please? Can you please come out, please? Why is your bonnet looking like a police cap? So the girls are going to the grandma's house tomorrow. I feel like I won't even know what to do with myself. And I think they should be there for like a week. I need to go and check when they will resume so that they will not be there at school resume. So they should be there for about a week. So I'm like, what am I going to do with myself? I'm just going to, I'm just going to flaze. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see your eyes. <laughs> you didn't cover it well. Bye. Yeah. Hey.